Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Welcome back to your live continuing coverage here at CES 2017 on Be Terrific. And uh, we're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. This is uh, the, the Sound Shark. Um, and let me explain what the Sound Shark is. This is a parabolic dish, like you would see on the NFL sidelines or Major League Baseball, with a little microphone in here. And this was designed to go on cameras, like this camera, for uh, filmmaking, documentary filmmaking. It works better than using a shotgun microphone or the alternatives. Um, and it's great when you can't lob somebody up. Obviously, a lob or a headset like this that I'm wearing is the best, especially in a loud environment, but at least you get some audio. And it rejects a lot of the noise. So we wanted to use this on set um, as our primary. And we found out that this could work hanging over the guest's heads very well in 90% of the environments. At this particular event, or one like it, it doesn't work. We're having 80 decibels, we just metered it before, coming from Samsung below us. 80 decibels are coming right here on our set without us even talking. So that's just too loud. The only thing you could possibly use are these microphones on our face from Countrymen, their headset microphones, and they need good proximity. But we do have as a great backup when the microphones fall off our face, because we don't have time to tape them on our guest's face. Uh, when they fall off, at least we can get some audio from our guests by pulling up the sound shark. So it's become a wonderful backup and could be a great primary in most cases, especially to have our guests walk on set and walk off. We actually have four of them, three, one over me, one over Paul, one over Andrea, and then one over there for demos. And it's really a tremendous setup, and we've tested it. And when we tested it, it worked well. But in this loud environment, it's just too loud. 80 decibels is too much noise to fight, especially when it's coming from all over the way sound travels. And we don't have the tent top on to help keep it out like we normally do because that would be a fire code violation here. So we go with the fire. We go with the uh, pirate ship. So this is Paul from Sound Shark. And uh, he's a great guy. He's come out here and set us up with this. You did hear it in the field yesterday. I was live from the floor with it, and it worked great there. Um, and uh, Andrea, you've used it as well. So I'm excited you're here. We found you at Photo Plus, and we said this could be a great solution for us. And I think it is, just not in this particular environment, but it's a great backup. Right, again, uh, you're de dealing with an awful lot of ambient noise. Uh, what, I, I couldn't hear you. Yeah. No, the reality <laughs> really? is it, we're dealing with so much noise that I turned my program feed up so loud during that last interview because I couldn't hear the guests. I kept saying, what? That uh, I couldn't even hear Derek telling me that it was time to go to the next interview, so I thought I was just stretching it. Uh, yeah, in this environment, you could hear me through the, the sound chart, but you're going to get a lot of the ambient as well. So it makes sense to use the head worn, but again, it makes a good backup. Uh, and in a normal, quieter environment, it would work great without the, the head. Right, it doesn't have to be like quiet, it right. just has to be a quieter environment. So this might work at the New York Auto Show, this might work at uh, you know NAB, it might even work at Toy, Toy Fair. Fair yeah. It's not going to work at Comic-Con, E3, or CES. If you were out on the main floor, like in the Central Hall, it would work fine. It's, that is actually true. It's just this venue right here with our neighbor <laughs> is uh, a little difficult. Right, Not they, they don't respect the uh, sound pollution rules. But in, in Central Hall, there is a lot of noise. If you go far into Central Hall, it's a lot quieter. If you go into South Hall, it's quiet. Right. We could definitely use it in South Hall. North Hall, same thing. I don't know, maybe not the Sands. The Sands gets pretty loud. Sands is loud, but it's um, very open, too. So, I don't know, it might work there, especially because each booth is a little more separated. Yeah. It worked pretty well walking down the aisles of the, of the Central Hall. Yes, it did, absolutely. That's a good point. He brings up a good point. I did not know that, Ed. I actually did, though. So how did you come up with Sound Shark? Uh, I guess you, you were a, a shooter and an audio guy for a long time? Uh, not really. I've been a photographer for a long time. Video is relatively new. Um, I got into parabolics through my engineering company. Uh, we do engineering for a company that builds stages for the television networks. And he was asked to come up with a better uh, parabolic microphone for uh, NFL sidelines, football sidelines. Oh, wow. And uh, so we did that, and uh, Fox liked it well enough that they ordered uh, a whole lot of them for the following football season. And so that basically uh, put us in business. That was in 2012. And then uh, in 2013, we came out with a smaller version uh, for baseball. In 2014, we came out with a 9-inch version and then uh, expanded or created the 
the consumer version, a more user-friendly version uh, in 14. Very well, cool. And it's great for like flash cam stuff. This is what we've been using for our Facebook Live second screen experience. Uh, and D DP says, and, and, and the Terrifics, it's actually Jay Bird and Janny are all talking about it. The next year we should have a more soundproof studio. And you know, we've kind of tossed that idea around. Jason said that, Dave said that. We could kind of build Plexi around this and uh, kind of force the, it. You know, force the uh, sound out. Um, you were going to say something. Nope, I said that's a cool concept, the fact that he was basically recruited to create this product. And it, now it's this. Yeah. Just a few years later. It's pretty amazing. And I think what's really interesting is I just thought of another use. Anybody who has, like, is a blogger or something, is at home doing videos, even like Andrea, if you wanted to do the show remotely from home or wherever, you don't have to mic yourself up and worry about mic placement and all that or moving around a little bit. You, it would really be a perfect solution for that. Right. If you can get the parabolic within five or six feet, it sounds like you're wearing the lapel. I mean, it sounds very good in here when there's not uh, 80 decibels. Right. It, yeah. it really does. And uh, wedding videographers have really uh, taken but the only, The only question I have about wedding videographers, aren't they going to run into the same issue with the DJ or the band playing? Well, during the uh, ceremony. ceremony itself, oh. you can get the vows without being on stage or without having the couple mic'd up. A Which lot is of hard couples. because everyone always forgets about that. Right. You you attend a wedding and you don't hear anything that's going on. Right. Except uh, the whoever's conducting the wedding. And a lot of churches don't want yeah, a, a microphone. microphone. Uh, a lot of brides don't want to wear a lapel. It's, right. Yeah, it's yeah you exclusive. have this beautiful white dress and a black thing right here. Hideous. Or even the white even, even when the you white, white lapel, yeah. Right. They they you still out. got the body pack. Right. They don't want that. Oh yeah, the, the dress wasn't fitted with a body pack. Right. No. All right, I think that they're ready at the Sands. Paul, it's been great to have you on. Where can people get it? Soundshark.com? Soundsharkaudio.com. 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 This guy has been great. He's been he's, he's part of the Be Terrific family. I was just going to say, <laughs> let's note the fact that even Kevin said Paul's been a great help. He's been around with us for the last few days. So. And Thank he's been you, hanging out. He's been having a lot. Have you had fun? Oh, yeah. Have you seen anything cool here? Oh, yeah. What, what was your favorite thing? Uh, some of the new drones, the vertical takeoff drones are really cool. Wow. They are. Ooh, this would be good for shooting with drones. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, I just thought of that. So we always worry about shooting with drones. We have no way to reject the propellers, right? But we could get a nice shot like of an opening of the show, and I could be like, hey, welcome to, right? We could do it live. We talk about this all the time with live view. We could be live with the drone. So I could be like, hey, welcome to your live coverage of CES from outside, right? But then how do we reject the audio? If I had that on the camera, could we reject? I mean, they're not that loud, but you. You'd We're working on that. Are, you are? <laughs> yes. Wow. See, I'm always one step ahead. Right, right. I'm always future proofing. You're always thinking. thinking ahead. Yeah. I like You're that. just ahead of your time. Thank you. Maybe we'll get in the DeLorean and catch up to me. Everybody can catch up. Uh, Awesome, Paul. Thank you so much. Everybody should go to Soundshark Audio, Audio. SoundsharkAudio.com. Correct. We're going to do a lot more with you. We're really excited about it. And. I want all the Planet 5D viewers to check this out now. We're going to hook you up with Mitch at Planet 5D. That's already in the works. Okay. We'll, we'll also see it uh, probably, hopefully, at Toy Fair, NAB, and uh, a whole lot more. All right. I'm really excited about this product. I think it's phenomenal. Everybody should check it out. It's very reasonably priced. All right. Thank you. That's Paul. She's Andrea. I'm Michael. And he's Jason. Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.